All right, guys, I am going to talk about the new quest that we have, which is the growth quest. It's super easy to get. So you go to your quests at the bottom of the page where you have your VIP Alliance daily, your town quests, and then now we have our growth quests. So you have all of these different things you need to achieve in order to get all of these uh, chests at the top and each each quest that they have in the growth quest section is very attainable. It's very easy to get. And you can see at the top, it refreshes at a certain time. It's when the game resets every day. And um, uh, usually if you're doing everything uh, that you normally do every day, you can attain the 100. If not, you can go in and just look and see what you need to do to claim it real quick. So the first one on here is log into the game. So that's an instant one if you're in the game and you claim it. Uh, at that point, it gives you seven points for that one. And upgrading a building, you it'll, it'll give you that. Now, I've noticed with upgrading buildings and conducting a research, it's not completing the research. It's not completing a building. It's just starting the building. So currently, if you have um, a building or research or churning right now, those won't count. So for instance, let's look at the suburban town in this account and I'm going to start um, a building and it, and then it'll automatically pop down in the growth quest that it's completed. So I'm going to click on this one, start the upgrade and click help. I'm going to click on the research, start a research. Let's do Rosewood upgrade and then we go back down to the quest and you see to get the building and the the research uh, quest for growth you need to start a building you need to start a research in order to claim it all right uh, so if you're if you're churning a couple buildings and they're <laughs> 23 days I mean you can use the speed ups to to uh, make it done real quick or you can just do a smaller building and use your gold and auto update um, like auto build uh, now you can train troops now this one can be uh, added to uh, a lot of different uh, ones that are already in here so you see just a couple down there all the troops so you can train one troop you can advance troops I uh, train 150 in infantry most of us are way past that in one group so you can you can go into your uh, troop training in your barrack and just train 150 of each real quick it's not hard um, gather resources convert resources gather 15,000 in food wood stone or attack outlaws attack wild gang do a, a b b gang of bandits. You don't have to be the leader in the gang of bandits. You just have to participate in a gang of bandits. Um, heal wounded troops. That's easy if you've done a gang of bandits. Then you can heal the troops that were uh, hurt during that campaign. Um, claim rewards from civilians or train. Super easy. Open five hero chests. Um, and once you get it... Uh, uh, you'll get some uh, extra keys for your hero chest. Uh, use hero experience. So you go into your heroes tab and you actually use, like you click on a hero and you use your hero experience if you have any. All right, use five non-march speed ups. So those are not the speed ups if you're joining a rally or attacking someone and you use it to speed up or go to gather and you're using a speed up to gather faster that doesn't include the speed ups in that i wish it would just if you're scrolling on it it wouldn't scroll to the top again um using five resource items that's super easy um if you're needing to start anything research training anything and it's this is super easy to do helping the alliance members 10 times 
Uh, that's also sharing resources like transporting resources, donating to the Alliance 15 times. I mean, these are all things you all should be doing anyways, especially if you're good participants in your Alliance and buying one treasure hunt. And the treasure hunt is when you come up to the sheriff and you do the treasure hunt down here and you hunt and buy those with the Spanish coin. So once you get these and you claim them, let's go back to the quests here. You see at the top right now, I have uh, daily activity points of 21 points. So you see the 20 chest is bouncing. So that means I can claim what's ever in that chest. Click on the chest as it's bouncing. Congratulations, that's all you want. And once you get all the way up to 100, um, I think in the 100 uh, chests, you get 300 in gold. So if you're doing this every day, you can get quite a bit of rewards. Granted, they're not as many as you would see here or there. So I usually bang this out really quickly by just doing the regular stuff I do in my main account knitter. And I get all the way up to 100 within the 24 hour period that I have. Uh, this is the bank account that um, a bunch of us share. So I'm just using it to uh, show how to do the, the growth quests. So if you guys have any questions about growth quests uh, or anything like that, just let me know and I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Uh, reach out to me in the game. I'm also on the line chatting app and I hope you guys are having a great day. Stay positive. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.